Last month, 38 teams of youngsters from New York made the trip across the city to Columbia University to take part in the Mayor's Cup. One team represented was PS279, a public school from the Bronx. The school's sports teacher, Mike Rosario, had learned about rugby at a workshop, but he was faced with a huge problem. Every child in the Bronx wants to play basketball. I went to the classrooms and I said, guys, we have this new program, it's called rugby, and all the kids were just asking, what is rugby, what is rugby? And funny enough, the first time, which was last year, our first season, I didn't know what to say. I just said it's a new program, it's a really cool game, it's a fast game. Rugby! The students soon embraced the sport and took part in the very first Mayor's Cup last year. The majority come from disadvantaged backgrounds and for them it's a chance to participate in a physical activity. A recent survey claimed that only 25% of children in New York took exercise. I think um, physically, I've seen a lot of my kids change. Um, they've gotten a lot stronger because I'm a personal trainer also, so I implement a lot of that into the program. So I've had kids who went from one push-up to 50 push-ups now. So physically, the kids are changing, and they all get along. I mean, just the teamwork is amazing. All right, all right guys, let's do it. The tournament is run by Play Rugby USA, the brainchild of Mark Griffin, who formed the company in 2005, right from the very first workshop he could tell he'd hit a nerve in America. That one day we had 75 kids the first weekend and it was just an awesome experience for them and for me, because uh, you could just see like what an amazing opportunity it was for them to have attention and learn something new and throw around rugby ball. So the next year we started doing some things in schools in 2005. And since then um, we've worked in over 80 schools, um, coached about 8,000 kids, and we have about 1,000 kids a week. Uh, in after-school programs uh, that we run in schools. There was a multinational feel to the tournament, with each school wearing the colours of a major rugby-playing country. South Africa! Ireland. Romania. 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 Canada. Romania. Our team would be wearing the all-black shirt with pride. The Mayor's Cup is a tag rugby tournament, where the aim of the game is to pull a tag or flag off an opponent instead of tackling them. Many Americans only play rugby for the first time at college, and events such as the Mayor's Cup are all part of a grand design to ensure that the future of rugby in America is in good hands. We've definitely got a national vision for the programme, uh, but we have to be careful not to spread ourselves too thin, especially with the economy and everything at the moment. We need to sort of consolidate in New York and grow. Um, so if we can pull in funding, um, we'll be able to replicate this programme. Um, if the idea would be to be in 10 cities in the next five years. So, um, and then we'll, we'll see where we go from there. <laughs> PS279 played some delightful rugby, more than justifying the decision of their principal to include the sport in the school curriculum. It's a great opportunity. The moves, the plays, and the conditioning that's required, it's, it allows the child to set personal goals that they can achieve, and then to understand or see how they actually fit into the system of players. And I think that what you see on the games is that when that's working, they experience success, and that's, that's a big message for a 10-year-old, 11-year-old, 12-year-old. The pre-tournament favorites made it to the final, where they took on the defending champions, IS392. But before the match kicked off, the team from the Bronx had a surprise in store. The challenge had been laid down and the opposition duly rose to it. Both sides exchanged scores in the first half, but it was the Romanians who pulled away in the second. The sheer enthusiasm of the players was apparent throughout the tournament, and all the schools which took part intend to be back next year to knock the champions off their perch. The tiny little kids running around with the ball, like they just get completely into it, and uh, all the way up through to the middle school. Uh, we've got kids here that have only been playing rugby for one season. Uh, we had one team come in that have played rugby three times. 
um, and they just they just get on with it and they compete. And obviously, you can see we've got some fantastic athletes here. Uh, that transferred their skills from other sports and they really excel in rugby so um, it's really awesome to be able to see them work together and put their individual skills together into the team skills. Back to back winners, congratulations, and that's the team